Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to add your own custom fonts in MIT App Inventor. So as you can see, I have four labels over here and each of these labels have a different font. So you can put any font you want. So you can see that uh, font 3 has a cursive writing, handwriting font and you can see the different fonts. So you can not only add it for labels, but you can also add it for other components like buttons, text boxes, etc. So here you can see the button, which has the same font as font 3. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you already know I made a video on this, how to add a custom font. But now, uh, it was working before, but now this extension, your font extension is not working. After the MIT App Inventor NB184 version is released so that is why i'm going to show in this video another alternative extension using which you can add your own custom font if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called mit app inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon so first we are going to download the extension my fonts extension which we are going to use to change the font so as you can see i told before this is a modified version of the your font extension which is not working right now but this works right now so make sure instead of downloading this you can go down and download the latest version so as you can see over here this is the latest version now after downloading the extension back in mit app inventor you can go over here at the bottom and click on import extension now you can choose the aix file which you have downloaded and import it into mit app inventor next you can see that the extension is over here now you just need to drag it over here to the designer like this now you can see that the extension is visible in the components now you need to make sure that you have all your all of your fonts which you are going to use in your app ready so as you can see i have downloaded four fonts and if you go inside the folder for each font you'll be able to see that there are different ttfs files so these are the files for the fonts the file extensions so we are going to use these ttf files which we will import in mit app inventor and then use it you can also notice that there are different versions for one single font you have the bold medium regular and semi bold it is the same for all other fonts as you can see over here again you have all the ttf files so make sure you have these downloaded and ready to use so if you want to get some free fonts you can visit this website fonts.google.com over here you have different fonts and you can download the ttf files again i'm going to give the link in the description below so as you can see there are many fonts over here and they are also in different languages so you have you can first choose the category you can also choose the language over here and you can choose the font prep properties like number of styles thickness slant and width you can also search for something over here and if you want to type your own text over here you can just type it like as you can see you can type it over here now you as you can see when i type something over here you can see the preview of the text in all the different fonts like this so you can do the same and then you can if you want to download a particular font just click on it now you will also be able to see the different styles like thin light and also bold so you can select the style and then click on download family to download the font then as you can see you can make sure all the fonts are ready the ttf files now let's upload the ttf files or the font files which we downloaded from google fonts so i'm going to go over here to upload files in the media section now i'll click on choose file now i'm going to choose all these four files so make sure instead of choosing the folder you choose the ttf file which you want so i'm going to select bold like this and click on ok so make sure you do this for all the fonts next i'm going to bring in a label like this and i'm going to put the text of this label to be font 1 i'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size to be 30 like this i want this label to be at the center of screen 1 so in the properties of screen 1 let's change align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this now i'm going to change the text color 
to be red. Next, I'm going to duplicate this label by using the shortcut key Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And as you can see, you have two labels over here. I'm going to change the text to be font 2. And again, I'm going to change the color to something different. Now over here, as you can see, I have four fonts with different colors. Next, I'm also going to add a button to show that this will work in all components. So let me change the text of this to be font for button like this. And I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to increase the font size to be 30 like this. Now I'm going to change the background color to be blue and the text color to be white like this. Now let us see how you can use this extension to change the font for all of these. To change the font, let's go to the block section. So first when screen 1 is initializing or the app is starting, we need to change all the fonts. So let me first go to the my fonts extension and I'm going to use this block set my fonts one dot custom font two and then over here we are going to put the fonts name so to put it let me go to button one and you will be able to see this block and over here you can choose between all the fonts i'm going to choose this one next what i'm going to do is after i set the custom font we should we should select the component for which we need the font so let me go to my fonts and i'm going to bring in this block set font component and the component is going to be label one like this Next, I'm going to duplicate this and do the same thing for all other labels and also the buttons. So now you can see that for each of the label, I'm setting a particular font like this. Now for the button, I'm going to do the same thing. Let me duplicate it. I'm going to choose a font over here. And then let, when I'm going to put the component this time, instead of the label, I'm going to choose the button. So let, let me go to the button. And I'm just going to drag it like this. So you can put the component name over here. If you want, you can also set the custom font in the designer. So for that, just click on the extension. And then over here in the custom font option, you can select the font. Now you can see that there are all, you can see the four different fonts for each of the label. And as you can see, I also changed the color for them. And you can also see the font for the button. So I'm going to add a text box over here and let me just erase the hint for this and I'm also going to increase the font size of this to be 30 now in the block section I'm going to use the same blocks again like this but this time the component is going to be text box 1 like this as you can see I also choose the custom font now you can see the text box over here and whenever I type something you'll be able to see that the font is changed Next, to make your app look more attractive, you can add two different themes, light and dark theme to your app. So watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here.